I'm Ryan Benson from The Pop Culturist, and this is my son, James. I imagine at some point, if he wants to follow in the footsteps of Dad, he'll want to get on the YouTubes and record some of his gameplay on his, I don't know, what, what, what do you reckon you'll have by then? PlayStation, like, 8, 9? I don't know how they're going to do it. But at some point, he's going to want to capture footage from those consoles. Who knows? What do you reckon? Do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, okay. But until then, you, what, one of the things you are going to need, if you're going to be any sort of staple of a YouTube channel and you want to do gaming stuff, you need video capture cards just like these ones. Now, I'm really bad at talking to a camera by myself, funny enough. So that's why he's here. So then that way, technically, I'm talking to him. It makes me feel better. I feel a bit, a bit more at ease. Even though he's not listening right now. It's looking over there. So it's over there. So what I have here are two capture cards of the brand that's my personal choice. These are the ones that I started with and it's the one that we're using now. So I have the Elgato uh, Game Capture HD as well as the uh, Game Capture HD 60. What I want to talk about, James, mm -hmm. is if you wanted to film your gameplay, what's the best capture card for you? He seems unsure. So James... There's a couple of different options. So with the with the Elgato H, H, Game Capture HD, it's pretty straightforward. You record at 1080p and mm, 30 frames per second. It's pretty simple. It's pretty plug, plug and play. I would give it to you, but I know you were going to try to eat it. So I'm going to keep it over here. For, oh, it's okay. You got it over there now. All right, that's cool. But anyway, the Game Capture HD is pretty simple. I don't believe this is actually sold in stores anymore. It may be made obsolete at this point, but you can pick it up uh, like I did from the Gumtree for about 100, 150 bucks. The big benefit to the Game Capture HD is as well as capturing all current consoles like uh, your PS4, your Xbox Ones, your Switches, it also has the ability for AV in. This is a big thing if you want to do retro consoles. Now, to me, James, retro consoles are already 20, 25, 30 years old at this point, maybe even older. So when you're old enough to play games, it's been like 50 years old. Well, not 50, like 40 years old, maybe. Oh, and it's going to be really tough to, for you to play like some old, some schnez, PlayStation 1, maybe. But if we did, we could use this one. But if you're up to something a little bit more, a little bit more powered, then you've got the, uh, the Elgato HD 60. So this is very similar. It is same, same, same basic concept, HDMI in, HDMI out, and a little USB that plugs into the computer that records all your things. The big difference with this one though, James, is that it captures at 1080p at 60 frames per second. I know, 60 frames per second, who would have thought? But there aren't a lot of games that play at full 1080 with 60 frames, but ones that can like your shooters and yet yeah you can't play yet because you're a little too young they capture just fine on this so i should i should mention as well that thanks to elgato gaming australia they did send us the hd 60 because we were having a chat with them we mentioned that we're using the quite old one now we just wanted to move into a little bit a little bit different so they were lovingly nice enough to send us the hd 60 we've had this for better part of about two months at this point and we've used it for every stream every bit of game capture Everything that we have, we've been using the HD60. Oh no, you're only shaking the table. The differences between the two aren't as big as you would think. So they both capture new consoles. They both capture the same resolution. The big difference is one, the frame rate and what consoles are compatible, I guess. With the HD60, you pretty much have... With the HD60, you're pretty much... a. With the HD60, you're pretty much limited to uh, PS4, Xbox One, and the Switch. Uh, maybe the Wii U as well, maybe? Because that's what uses HDMI. Now, the PS3 does use HDMI, but due to its built-in copyright protection, you have to use... We're actually over here. You have to use this, James. This little AV cable. So, it plugs into like the AV part of your PS3. Yep. You got slobbery hands. Uh, and this goes into the AV thing. It's more of an analog si signal. Mm. In terms of the analog input, it give, they it comes with one of these. It's a component cable that plugs in with a little little S video plug thing. You see it there? See the little plug? This is this is obsolete too now. You're never gonna have to worry about S video. So that that allows you to play sort of your old consoles, which is really really cool. 
So the whole point of this video is to sort of talk about capture cards and discuss what may be the best one that suits you. <laughs> So with this video, we were hoping to sort of just talk about the capture cards and find which one may be the best suited for you. Now there are, Elgato does have ranges more than what's what's currently right here. They also have the HD60S, very similar to the HD60. However, it does have a uh, USB type C, so you can get a bit more instantaneous uh, feedback. So there's no input delay. Uh, on the the recording device that is from the from the console to the TV there is no delay at all it's all about how it records so that's the the benefit of that USB C much faster bit rate clear as shit and they also have the inbuilt computer ones as well but that's not something that we deal with so it all comes down to depending on what sort of gaming content you want to capture so James if you want to capture the retro games or the super retro for you. You want to head down to the line of the Game Capture HD. So hit up your local gu your gum trees, maybe your Facebook marketplace. That seems to be a thing these days. Everyone's hocking their shit on there. Should be able to find one of these. Too, not too bad. But if if you wanted to, if you're focusing mostly on the next, the latest generation of consoles, and probably more than likely the next generation of consoles, you want to head over to the HD60. If your computer does support USB 3 and uh, USB Type C, this then the HD60S is the one that you're gonna want to go for. Big. Thing Thank you to Elgato Gaming for sending us the HD60. We love it. And this is the one that we use predominantly at this point. Um, whenever we do pull up an older stream, like the other couple of weeks ago, we did some PS3 stuff. That's when we pull this one out. So we will forever be using the two of these and we'll switch in between them whenever we want to. I know, but you're clearly getting distracted. And I don't think, I think you've lost interest in capture cards at this point. But anyways, I'm Ryan Betson, this is James Betson, and these are the Elgato Capture Cards. Bye. Wave. You wanna wave? Yeah, that's good enough.